So we're now going to interpret the uh, results for the coefficients and uh, this is the first step and the first step consists of the constant and certainty and severity and this is the same as the previous model we ran as a standard regression and then we have the second model and that included legitimacy or added legitimacy in and that kept the other variables in order to understand um, what's going on initially we look at the standardized regression coefficients or the beta values we can instantly see that this is quite high very strong and these are very close to zero so we have one very strong positive predictor and two more or less zero predictors legitimacy then uh, is clearly the strongest predictor in that second model and it's the only significant predictor. Uh, it's worth noting that the coefficients will change between the first and the second model when you add a new variable in and what's happening is that legitimacy remember is correlated a little bit with each of these but it does a much better job of explaining the dependent variable and it explains most of any previous variance that had been explained by severity and certainty. All right, so there are some other, or well there is some other information in this table that we want to look at, particularly the zero order and, and partial correlations. So what we've got here are the zero order correlations between the dependent, vari dependent variable and each of the independent variables. So these are R values and we saw these values earlier um, in the correlation table. So if we look at this second model remember our partial correlations are a subset or a smaller part of um, the correlation explained by an independent variable so here's a dependent variable here's an IV and here's the correlation between the variables and let's say we have a second independent variable and it has this so its correlation with the dependent variable is that area all right and it also explains some of the variance that it was had already been explained by the first independent variable now the partial correlation then is only the unique area that some um, explained by an independent variable. So in this case for IV1 this here is the partial correlation between IV1 and the dependent variable and therefore it will be uh, always smaller than or it could be equal to the independent uh, equal to the correlation where your predictors are not correlated with each other. So IV, IV, DV, these two do not overlap and therefore um, their partial correlation is the same as their, their correlations with the DV. So uh, for the other sections here, you've got the collinearity statistics. Um, this value should be for the tolerance uh, should be small well, sorry I, I should say tolerance should be greater than uh, about 0.1 and that clearly is in this case and VIF is just the reciprocal so uh, it should be uh, less than 10 but I find it easier to simply look at the correlations between the